All right, welcome to episode two in the RC Crew Chief series. Uh, this episode, we're going to uh, build on what we had uh, uh, discussed in the first episode of the basics. Um, so we're going to go through each of the the three things that we really have control over um, and see uh, what settings affect those various areas. So this one, we're going to talk about weight transfer balance or just balance in short. So first thing we're going to do, most of this is going to be all in our crew chief. So we're going to start off on our setup tab. I'll just show you first. We're dealing with the uh, 417X and we're going to start with a setup that's built into that model, uh, which is uh, Jill Grosskamp's uh, 2012 World Championship setup. Uh, that's one of the nice things of RC Crew Chief is that you can actually uh, find a setup sheet and enter it into RC Crew Chief so you can see exactly where the pros are setting up all their suspension properties and camber games and all that sort of stuff. Uh, very helpful to uh, uh, see what they're doing because obviously they know a lot about this sort of stuff. So uh, without further ado we're going to get started here. Uh, first thing to look at is our suspension properties over here that we talked about out at the very end of the last uh, episode. So we've got our roll centers, ride stiffness, ride frequencies. One of the main things for uh, weight transfer balance is the chassis roll stiffness. So you can see here that the total roll stiffness is very close. Uh, the front rear roll couple is slightly less than 50%, which would mean that the uh, uh, car would be slightly loose fairly well balanced and not an awful lot of difference uh, between the front and rear roll stiffness. Uh, but because there is, we would expect to see a little bit more weight transfer at the rear than at the front because the stiffer end of the car is going to transfer more weight. So let's just switch over to our handling tab here and have a look at that. Mid corner is the best way to look at your overall balance because you're just doing straight lateral load transfer. So if we look at this, we can see here that we've got about 200, uh, sorry, 300 grams of weight transferred at the front, and we've only got about 290 grams of weight transfer at the rear. So that's kind of opposite to what I just said. So why would that be happening? Well, let's go back to the setup tab and see what we have here that's different. First thing is roll center. You can see here the rear roll center is lower. In the front, so that means that the rear is going to uh, have more weight transfer or more or greater rolling moment, which means that it's kind of counteracting the increased stiffness. So the two of those numbers there are kind of offsetting each other. So we just want to sort of look at what the effect of, of uh, the roll stiffness is. So let's try and get these things fairly equal. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to raise up the rear. Let's drop it down a couple millimeters. Okay, so now I've got the rear roll center very close to the front. That should be pretty good. Uh, I don't really want to overwrite his setup, so I'm just going to put a new setup in here and I'm just going to call this uh, same RC. Okay, and we'll save that. Okay, so now let's go and have a look at the handling page. Now we see that we're transferring 300 grams at the rear and we're transferring about 290 grams at the front. So now we've got the expected condition. We've got more weight transfer at the rear than we do at the front, which is the condition that we're, uh, we're shooting for here. So what do we want to look at next? Next thing I think would be worthwhile looking at is the effect of center gravity position on weight balance. So let's just go in here to our change track width wheelbase or CG and we're just going to have this move it over here so we can see what's going on underneath it. Uh, let's just move the center gravity 10 millimeters forward. So you can see down at the bottom here, it tells you how far I'm moving it. So I'm going to move it 10 millimeters. Now this is a lot. You'd have to add a lot of weight to the front to, uh, to do this, but uh, we're trying to look and see what sort of effects we can create here. Okay, so 
there we go we apply that and now you can see we, we're transferring much more weight at the front than we are at the rear so we've totally counteracted our, our uh, uh, stiffer rear by just moving our center of gravity forward so if we want to try and regain let's close this up, if we want to try and regain our balance what do we do uh, we don't want it to be that loose we want to try and and uh, get us back to more of a balanced condition so first off let's just do some spring rate changes and see what happens right now we have uh, hot body silver screen or silver uh, springs front and rear so now let's go and we'll stiffen the front one so we'll go to pinks so that's helped a little bit our push loose bar graph has, has uh, reduced a little bit but we still need a little more so let's do a spring rate change on the rear and let's go um, one softer on the rear or yeah sorry one softer on the rear so let's go to blues on the rear and there we go all right so now we have regained our balance we're neutral at mid corner even though we've moved our our center of gravity quite a ways forward so what else can we do here uh, we could do this some other different ways let's go back and put these things back to where they were so we had silver and silver so we could do this with uh, shock angle changes so let's look at shock angle so we want to stiffen the front so if we stand our front shocks up that will stiffen the front so let's apply that and we're close we just need a little bit more so we can't really do anything else here with just shock angles to stiffen the front so let's look at the rear again so let's go to the rear shock and we've got the shocks laid down as far as they'll go on the rear so the only thing we can do here is we can start moving our, our lower mount inward so let's move it in one spot so let's soften that up 5%, apply that, and now you can see we're back where we started from. So we've got a balanced condition again. Now, let's do one more thing. Let's see what we can do with any roll bars. So let's go back to our shocks and put them back where they were. One important note here is you see the red circle. That shows you where the uh, position is set on the or in the current setup so it makes it a little easier to get back if you want to look at different options here so on the front see here's our red circle there so that's where we want to put it back to okay so so we're back where we were we're we're on the loose side here again so what we want to try and do now is see if we can get rid of this with anti roll bars so we have anti roll bars enabled front and rear so we want to stiffen the front so let's go to a stiffer front bar okay we're close but not quite there uh, we've already got the softest bar in the rear so let's just disconnect our rear bar and there we are not 100 percent there but pretty darn close so there you go you can see that the um, three things that affect your weight transfer balance are the roll stiffness which is controlled by your spring rates your anti roll bars and your shock angles and you can manipulate all three of those in RC crew chief and see what the effects are uh, the other thing that affects your weight transfer balance is your front and rear roll center heights and lastly the four and a half CG positions uh, affects your uh, weight transfer balance as well so that's it for episode two. I'm trying to keep these as short as I can. So subscribe to the RC Crew Chief uh, uh, channel on YouTube and you'll get notices when I get uh, new episodes up. And I'm going to try and keep doing this on a very regular basis every day or so, or two days hopefully. Um, stay tuned.